grasping a cup, or brushing hair, or cooking a meal. Movements that all seem pretty easy, right? Not to amputees or people with paralysis. These movements all require a sense of touch. The brain needs information from fingertips to understand how firmly a person is gripping or how much pressure is needed. For amputees, even with a prosthesis, and people with paralysis, movements and everyday tasks are a challenge, if not impossible, due to the lack of a sense of touch. A team of University of Washington bioengineers, computer scientists, and medical researchers from the National Science Foundation's Center for Sensory Motor Neural Engineering found a way to possibly restore the sense of touch by electrically stimulating the brain's surface. The team worked with patients who already had electroorticographic ECOG, electrode grids implanted on the brain's surface for clinical purposes. Using a special glove embedded with sensors that conveyed information about finger position, the team was able to provide artificial sensory feedback that the brain could understand giving the brain a new sense of touch through ECOG stimulation. While in the early stages of testing, the team hopes to someday develop prosthetics, implants, and other neural devices that could restore the sense of touch and freedom.